What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabe and this is Tree Ponder SC Fishing. Today we're on the Ashley River in South Carolina and we're looking for big catfish. And today I'm going to show you how I make my marinated chicken for catfish bait. All right, so stay tuned. It's a real easy recipe and I try not to spend too much money on it. It's going to be pretty cheap. So just stick with me, watch this video, watch some catches, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna share my secrets. It's not really much secrets, you guys can probably look it up, but stay tuned anyway. Got something big on here, guys. Don't know what this is. Or this is the same one I caught the other day. Oh. See what's see what's on over here. Uh, uh, oh man, another big one. <laughs> another big one. Uh, uh, I gotta tighten the drag. Okay, this one's the eater. <laughs> Double up, baby. Whoo. Alright, this is still going. Alright. First off, let's weigh the big the big guy. Oh. 
new PB of almost 16 pounds. Let this big one go. There you go. Oh yeah, maybe good, maybe good. A lot of head shake, that's a good sign. Yeah, he's coming up. I like that one, I like that one. We might, we might keep you. You're stringer worthy, you're stringer worthy. A little skinny, but stringer worthy. Alright guys, this is a big one, this is a big one, and it is fighting different, oh boy, oh boy, am I outgunned? Come on, Cast King Sharky. Don't fail me now. Oh, it don't. Of course, I'm blowing right into this bush. Oh, yeah. Nope, this one's just a 10 pounder, <laughs> just. Ah. That's a thick boy. Uh. Oh yeah, got a good one. Got a good one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah. Oh, this is fighting just like that last one. Oh boy. Oh boy.
Wait a second. Oh, okay. This is a big channel cat. I think, yeah. Oh no, it's a blue. I think. Hard telling. Slime the hell out of my line. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, don't do that. <sighs> Ten pound. Ten pound. Heck yeah. All right, buddy. I'm gonna put you right there for a minute. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna throw this back out while we get a picture. I'm just gonna record and then I can take a screenshot from the recording. I think that'll be easier because trying to get a photo with this guy with that last one was kind of difficult, golly. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> I got another one on, oh crap. Yep, there's another one. Uh, coming right out the boat. Ah, little guy. Little guy. But doubled up anyway. Oh, God. There goes the phone. I just had another one bite. <laughs> I think that bait is gone. These guys are talking to each other. Man, I just want to get them. Just all. Oh no. This little tripod's not working out. All right. So here's the eight pound one. Yeah. Not too bad, not too shabby. All right. Let's release that one. Can I turn this around? I sure can't. All right, well, release this big guy. Okay, he's swimming off. And then we got a little one. Oh man. I wish I bought my brought my big tripod. This little freaking thing is not not doing the trick. Oh god. There's another one. There's another one. This is insane. 
Uh, well, this is a good spot. <laughs> Boat flip. That's two fish off the same bait. <laughs> These guys are mirror images of each other. That's two off the same bait. Let's see if we can get three. All right, and I got another one. All right, I gotta cut that one off because he swallowed the hook. We're gonna release him. Am I still recording over here? I sure am. Double up on small ones. <sighs> Actually, that's more like a triple up, really. That all happened on the same thing. I'm gonna play that in real time. Triple up. Oh, holy cow. All right. That is another one. No tying a knot. Uh, I think I missed that one. Yeah. All happening on the chicken too. Just the marinated nasty chicken. Oh man, I'm running short on time here. Three thirty. Shit, that is that's the time, guys, because it's gonna take me a half an hour to get back to the boat landing. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Well, guys, if you're ever out in the Ashley, you put in at the Oak Brook in Somerville. Catfish, man, this has become one of my favorite catfishing spots. But looks like I got to bid this place adieu. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you the real easy way to make my uh, what I use for catfish bait. These are chicken gizzards. And there's a reason why I use chicken gizzards. And I'm going to show you right here. We're going to open these guys up. Chicken gizzards have they're tough you see this they're really tough they have like a um, what would you call that it's like muscle you hook you put the hook through this the catfish ain't gonna rip it off and you saw in my video I caught I think three catfish on the same piece of chicken because they weren't kicking it off and they weren't swallowing it and little catfish can't just steal it so you don't just have a bunch of like biters down there, little guys stealing your bait and you're having to just rebate and rebate and rebate. So that's why I use gizzards because they're going to stay on the hook a lot longer and they're perfect size pieces. You could double this one up, you know, they're perfect size pieces. You don't need to have a giant chunk. You just need to cover the hook. Per perfect size pieces. All right. Take the Kool-Aid. The Kool-Aid's mostly for color and it kind of bleeds out um, 
and leaves kind of a trail. I always use red cherry, but I'm guessing you could probably use any color. But I've always used red cherry, and this is kind of my, my recipe, so I ain't going to mess it up. All right. A generous heaping of olive oil. And then the most important part, a generous heaping of garlic. I keep the air in the bag so I can shake it up. Let this sit in a refrigerator for a day so it marinates. And then if you're not gonna go out fishing immediately for catfish, freeze it. And you can keep on unthawing it and freezing it, unthawing it and freezing it until you're all done and you have to make a new batch. What I like to do is I like to now get all the air out of the Ziploc bag and seal it up. Now it's like vacuum seal and it all has to sit inside the marinade. The olive oil and the garlic. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. And um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe and the, um, uh, the alert bell thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.